YouTube, YouTube, what up? I'm gonna try to make this video quick as possible. Uh, basically, just got a shoe in the mail. It's nothing spectacular, but I'm gonna try to make it into something spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna try to shoot. I know I talk a lot, but I'm trying to make this as fast as I can because I'm about to go to the gym and head to work. But this box basically just came in the mail today. So let's get right into it. It's a used shoe. It's not a very popular shoe but i got i had got a concept to actually try to make a shoe because i wasn't willing to pay what the shoe actually goes for it so i thought this was like one of the brightest ideas i've seen it on youtube actually got this purchase off of goat which is my place away from home i get it stuff happened with stock eggs i shot one there too but i guess you know the way i talk we could do that in another video it's a one i know different type of box but most heads it's 11 most heads will know when you see this what the shoe can be I said be like my inside there condition is not that great got it for dirt cheap I literally got this shoe for about 50 60 dollars ship packaging nice but shoe's not that great as you can see the shoe has really been worn but don't worry we all know how to bring that stuff back to life. Different color lace than this one. And whoever had these shoes really wore his shoes, or she. I hope it's he. Nothing else in the The water grip. Sure, anybody, I'm not going to go super detailed into this shoe because if you keep up with shoes, you know about it. But this basically is the Gatorade pack. Uh, Jordan, you know, when he was playing, all he drank was Gatorade because he was. Basically, well, everybody in damn near in the league, NBA league, was uh, drinking Gatorade. But he was sponsored by Gatorade. He was on their team, whatever you want to call it. And he did all the commercials. He had the Be Like Mike campaign or whatever. And fast forward 20, 30 plus years later, now they came out with a pack of four different colors of the original flavors of that first release of the Gatorades, which was Lemon Lime, or no, Lemon uh, this orange peel, blue raspberry, and I believe purple, which is great, whatever. But like me and a few other people, we all wondered why they didn't make a cherry flavor, all red one. Which I may have to research myself and find out if the red flavor wasn't an original, original flavor. But to my knowledge, it was, and it would have been the most popular. Come on, we all know everybody love red shoes. But basically, in a nutshell, I was going to get a DS pair, but it's like it's pointless to buy a DS pair because I can get them for dirt cheap. And I mean, I'm not—I don't want them completely punished. But this toe box can easily be fixed. All these wrinkles can be easily taken out. That's that's nothing. But I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make you understand why I got this shoe specifically. This just came in the mail yesterday. Everybody in the customized world knows what this is. Everybody in the sneaker world knows what this is. These are paints from Angela's Direct, which basically is most people use to make custom sneakers. And if you see these two colors with this shoe, I'm pretty sure you know what it is. I'm not going to name the shoe because, I mean, I think everybody knows. But I could have did it on any shoe, but I was watching a YouTube video when I was trying to find the shoe. I almost was about to bite the bullet, considering paying them astronomical prices, but for me... I don't think Air Jordan ones. I don't really think damn near no Air Jordan one to me personally is worth more than maybe three four hundred dollars, if that. Like I like I, I love ones, but I'm not a diehard fan of them. Like how everybody is now. Like I like two OG colorways of Chicago and the bread, but outside of that, I only get the shoe if I like it. Like if I don't like it, I'm not buying it. I have a lot of ones more than I uh, thought I would ever have, but I don't have the all the hype shit people talk about. But basically. Like I said, I could have done it on another, another shoe, but I seen somebody do it on YouTube. And what made me want to do it on this shoe is the lightning bolt in the back. And that it says, I got to clean this up too. It says Gatorade on the bottom. So I want to keep that trend. I mean, I was going to paint, paint it at first and just put the seal thing people do on over top of it. But I love that look. So I want to keep that. So with that being said, I was going to end the video here when I was planning it out. But I was like, 
why don't y'all see the other customs I've done where I'm working on currently? Because I know I said in previous videos, certain shoes like the Yin Yang pack and the all black ones I bought. I bought those specifically for customs, but I never end up getting to do the customs because most of the customs I'm going to do, they actually release the shoe. So uh, it's five right now. I have another one that I didn't buy it yet, but it don't go for nothing. So there's no rush to get it, but I'm going to get it soon. I can show you the first two. This is used. This is DS. Uh, these, everybody knows the white military. Uh, yeah, white military. I know I was fucking up. White metallic Air Jordan 5s. And these are the Pure Money uh, Air Jordan 3. These just released like last year. I love to have this clear soul. I just got these because I wanted to make a custom. I don't know what custom. Well, now I know what custom, but when I got them, I didn't know which custom I wanted to do. But these specifically, I didn't get these DS on purpose. I wanted the yellow look to give it the OG feel. These I was going to customize into the... Uh, the Motorsport 5s, because I'm not paying the ridiculous prices for me. Even if I had the money to pay the ridiculous prices, it's pointless to buy it at this point. The shoe is so old that if you try to wear it, most likely the paint's going to chip or the midsole's going to crumble. And most people don't even wear that shoe, so the midsole's going to crumble on you. But I don't even know if I'm going to make this custom anymore, because I got the rumor, you know, rumors are rumors for right now, that they're actually releasing... The motorsport fives next year and the way jordan brand and nike have been starting to release samples of grs i wouldn't say they wouldn't so i'm probably gonna hold off on this one and until i find fi further word because if i find further word it's released it's no point to make it i just make something different now as i said this one i just got it because it was dirt cheap it was like 90 dollars uh ds retail under retail should i say but now the prices went a little bit back up but I had no clue what I was gonna like, like make the shoe into. So I got the Quad 54, Q 54 threes, the black ones, and I was thinking about making the white version on these, but I don't like them that much. Plus, I would have to go get this back tab chain to get the the logo. But I'm debating if I want to change this. I may get a Nike Air logo put on the back, but. I'm actually going to make, the, I was going to, no, that's the other thing I was going to make. When I decided not to do that, I was going to make the UNC, uh, the college ones, because those go for way too much money. But I just got word on that, that it's confirmed they're releasing in March. So there's no point to make that. So this probably is just going to be a pink, a pink colorway. Everybody know that watched my, I actually made a KL collection video. I love pink shoes. Why well, I don't know, but no, I'm not gay. And yes, I'm confident in myself. I just love color pink. It's different. I don't know. So, I'm not making these yet. I'm waiting until I get the... I'm going to actually get the black uh, Tinker 3 black cements because I'm going to make a black and pink colorway and make the white one of this. So, it's going to be the basically the pink pack. Now, this one, I'm probably going to wear it soon because if I don't, ugh, they're going to... Nike going to probably end up making it. This is the black and I guess UNC blue colorway. I actually made this colorway maybe earlier last year. I didn't finish. The only, well, I'm done, basically. The only thing I got to do is the tongue. I just didn't get around to doing it. I was going to color this in, but I don't have the patience to color it in. So if I feel like I want to get it colored in, I'm going to give it to somebody else. But I've been thinking about just drawing my own logo over top of it. I don't know yet. But... I actually seen a sample colorway Jordan did this. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Every colorway I try to make, they're gonna make. So my thing is, if you're doing custom ones, either do a custom of a colorway that's super expensive that you know you're not gonna pay that already came out, or don't e to me, don't even really think about making a colorway that they didn't make yet. Because nine times ten, they're gonna make it. If they just haven't put it out yet. Because every single colorway I come up with to do. They do it. And I did this one because I don't like Royals. I had the Royals. I sold them. And I really only, like I said, I only bought them to get the breads, which never happened. But I was like, they never did a UNC. They did a UNC white one, but they never did a UNC black one. And I said, I wonder what that would look like in the bread royal colorway, color blocking, should I say. So, and I did it. Everybody I showed was hype about it because still to this day, Jordan hasn't done it, which is crazy. But as soon as I make it, I see a sample. So that just tells me 
at some point it's going to get released. And I know it is because that's the only, that's their best selling shoe. And they've been making the same colorways over and over and putting a new colorway every fucking week. I think they had they up to 100 something pairs in the last two years. So I'm going to hurt and wear this within the next few weeks. I may ever, I may actually wear the singer kind. I don't know. <laughs> now these two. I hate that I had to make a custom of these. I ain't. Even, I actually haven't even finished making these customs, but I had to make it because the price is just too ridiculous. The Chicago and the bread. I know. I, literally, I just told you the story. I bought the Royals to get these, but when these first released, like uh, the last time, these were they weren't going for that much. It was going for two fifty. By the time I like my money was tight, I had bills and stuff. I wasn't worrying about sneakers. I would pay retail or less, and. I thought they would stay stagnant around three, four hundred because in simple fact, they was at two fifty, three hundred for a while. Once our money got right and I, everything freed up, they started going higher and higher. And I just kept saying, so I get them later, I get them later. Now, when I finally want to go get them, I think the cheapest I've seen was four hundred, and that's used. Like DS is ridiculous price. So I took it upon myself. So I'm just gonna make it for one. I don't like the color red on that one. It's too, too, too like dark, and it's only like tumbled on the swoosh the back part and the toe this one is actually tumbled like everywhere as you can see you can see the the mess ups the imperfection and i had to paint them in so i'm still not finished as you can see it was all black it was blacked out murder i don't have to do the tongue because the tongue's already there for me so all i have to do is fix the the all the mess ups i did and just finish this midsole and, fi and finish i don't even know if i'm gonna paint the body because it really don't matter to me now this one hurts my heart I had to make a custom this. I don't have a choice. They didn't release a Chicago maybe four or five times since the last. I had the 2000, I believe, was it 13? I think it was 2013 pair. Them shits was just horrible. I only got them because it's my favorite color. This is my favorite color way of all time when it comes to the ones. The bridge is the second one. But I just couldn't do it. Like, it, they hurted my feet so bad. I actually have that video. I'm going to see if I can, like, get to it because I don't know if YouTube is where it's not letting me watch all my, like, super old videos. But... Uh, I'd say it in the video, like, they hurt like hell, the, the, it just felt like plastic, and then it didn't have the Nike brand in, it didn't have, it had the Jumpman logo on the back, it came in a, a one box, but it was, it didn't have the Nike on it, it just had the Jordan on it, which was weird, so when they re-released them, and they started putting these nice materials on it, uh, unlacing, it didn't come laced up, it come with extra laces, I was in Vegas at the time, all my money, it was my, my uh, fiance's birthday, so all my money went to her. I barely had nothing. I called him, I had a connect at the time, called him to get the shoe. He couldn't even get it. He was trying to get a, uh, a Chicago for his damn self. So I felt though maybe I'd be paying three, four hundred dollars. Five hundred was the minimum at the time. Now they go for almost a thousand, if not a thousand. So I can't, I that was out of the question. Then, uh, I'm I'm, if I'm not sh mistaken, I know that the Spider-Mans came out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a color. Oh, the Homage Sister Home. That's what it was. And so the Homage Sister Home came out. I had a pair. 250. I didn't, I hated the shoe. Like, I don't like it, but the material was so buttery. Like, the bread side, it kind of reminded me of the band. Everybody talks about shattered backboard quality still to this day, but nobody brings up the actual band from, I believe, 2011. That's the quality we need. And I'm not saying Homage to Home was there, but it was aiming towards that way. Like, that that leather was nuts. But when I put the shoe on my foot, it looked fucking hideous. I'm like, I cannot. I mean, I probably could throw, get a fit to go with it, but just to me, it does not look right. And the way it was made was just horrible. Like, I know it's split in the middle, but it looked like they literally took two shoes and sold them together. It had a fucking seam from the toe all the way to the heel, which makes no fucking sense to me. I said, so you mean to tell me y'all couldn't just make the shoe, one whole shoe, and just have two different colors? Y'all literally have to sew a shoe together? So I just got rid of them. And I should have held on to them because they actually do go for a little bit more, but I just didn't want it in my house anymore. So that's the second step I try to get it. We have 14 minutes. I'm surprised I ain't at 20 right now. But that was the second attempt. Third attempt, Spider-Man's. I had, I was like, these shoes are going to go for crazy numbers. Of course, let's be clear. All these shoes I'm naming, I tried to get them for retail. Of course, I've never went on Snickers app. I never, I'm always at work. I can never camp out. Well, not camp out, raffle or any type of shit. But I lose the raffles any goddamn way. It's going to make a difference. But 
Uh, and so I really, I'm gonna start get back into like when shoes actually release. Hang around the store to try to see if anybody's willing to sell their shoe as soon as they get it. But it's kind of hard to do it because back then when I used to when I used to do that, we had campouts, so everybody in line or everybody there is getting the same shoe, so you can negotiate with people. But when it comes to today's age, you don't know when these people are coming in for their shoes. Since it's a raffle, it's not like you have to come in at a certain time to get it. You have a window. You have from like when the store opens to like twelve in the afternoon, six in the afternoon to get your shoe. So that they could pop up at any time. It, it may not be your size. So fast back to this to the Spider Man. It was stagnant at two fifty. Again, I was stuck in a hard place. I had stuff to handle. I couldn't worry about shoes at the time. And once I could handle and talk about shoes at the time, I couldn't find a used pair like really at all. And the prices was just going up, up. And I, I said, I'm not paying three hundred because. I like, of course, it's the Chicago colorway, but it's not actual Chicago. The tongue is blue. The little this part is blue and red because it's based off the movie Spider Man, and the bottom is clear and it's gonna turn yellow at some point, which I don't want to deal with. And it's not. I don't think it's really leather on the red. It got 3M on it, and it's like a weird material. So I was like, I was gonna suck it up and just get it, but I was already doing this custom, so it was like, I don't care which Chicago I get. I just want a Chicago one. So the fact that I was already making this, that's what kept me from buying any other ones. Then the last one, fucking sh uh, L.A. to Chicago. Like I was like, I can't catch a fucking break. This is like the fourth time they didn't retro this damn shoe, and I can't get it. Fuck the retail. I'm not even worried about the retail no more. But I don't want to pay more than two fifty. I don't even want to pay two fifty for the damn shoe. It's my favorite shoe, and I still don't want to pay two fifty for it. Especially with the Chicago, I didn't want them because I I don't want to have to fucking do extra work to get to that colorway because I don't like the luck Laker colorway, and I literally got the Paris to New York ones because I love pink. And I didn't know when I first seen the shoe or heard about it, I didn't know it was another colorway underneath of it. So I just thought it was gray and black, which I don't need. But then I seen it on somebody's foot when they rubbed all the paint off and seen that pink and it was two different colored pinks. I said, oh yeah, I need that shit. So come back to this. I start working on this shoe a little bit more. Now I hear it. They're doing the oh, OG cut, OG height. Hopefully we get that hang tag. Cause I've been bitching about that hang tag for like 10 years. I don't understand why we haven't got it yet, but it's going to be the closest possible to the actual Air Jordan 85 pair that came out. I said, listen, I hope and pray that I'm truck driving by the time that shoe releases. Because if I am, my bank is going to be through the roof. I'm buying at least three pairs. I don't care. I may sell one. Don't know. But if I have to pay three to five hundred a pair, I'm gladly going to pay that. And I'm going to wear one. And I'm going to stash one. I y'all can go. Through, I can go through my whole collection. I have no doubles, and the doubles I have, I sold them. And now I'm gonna have another one, just to sit on it, because how the rate of all these prices are going back up in sneakers. We're gonna talk about that. That's probably going, I'm probably do that when I'm at work on my lunch break. How all these sneaker prices are going back up, which is crazy. And I told y'all, especially the young kids, when Adidas was popping for them two years. It was all about Boost, Boost God, and all this other shit, and Yeezys. You know, Yeezys still popping. I got every shoe, like this shit. This is a very expensive shoe. I paid next to nothing for it. This shoe probably, right now, nobody's looking at it. I feel as though in the future, this shoe is going to go up in value because you a lot of people can't get their hand on the sample. But the prices are getting ridiculous. And y'all had all your time in the world to get all them gems that I showed y'all, like the nerfs. The uh, Weathermans, the South Beaches, the Miami Knights, all those crazy ass shoes I bought that I got for dirt cheap prices. All those prices is going right the fuck back up. So y'all had your time to do it. Now, I don't know what to tell you, but that's what I'm about to start getting into. Once my money is right, where though I'm cool even if I spend too much, I'm going to do what all these other people do. I'm buying doubles and triples of shits that are expensive, even if they're expensive when I buy them. As long as they're not expensive as I give you uh one example and I'm done, I promise. I believe it was the Travis Scott ones, if I'm not mistaken. No. Oh, that's what it was. The trophy. The trophy room fives. When those first came out, I don't like the shoe, but it was okay. And of course I'm not in Florida, so I couldn't go down to the store to get it because the story on how people were just getting all those pairs is crazy. But they had the shoe on the site. And 
it was a little process of getting it, but it wasn't as hard as most releases online. Like I could have got the shoe if I wanted it. I could have got two pairs. I put it in my cart two, three times and it was still there. So I think the shoe, might, like, I don't know for everybody else, but for me on my phone, I tried it. It may have like been on the site for a good 20 minutes, which is unheard of. Maybe even longer. I'm not, I can't remember, but I just know I could have got two pairs. And it was going for, at the time, like three, four hundred dollars, which wasn't shit, because most trophy room shoes don't go for nothing except for the 23s. Fast forward today, I'm just going for $3,000. And I'm not talking about the samples. I'm talking about the release pair. And now here, the samples are going for 20000 But what fucks me up is about it is like, I could have had that shoe, and I knew I wasn't going to wear it. I could have sat on it, and... I could have bought all these shoes that I want now without touching any of my money. So I'm looking more into that. And once I get off of here, I'm going to try to start this custom because I, I, I plan on wearing this custom to SneakerCon coming up. I'm trying to go to SneakerCon DC. I know I'm going to that one for sure. But I have plans to go to Atlanta in October. I hear there's one in LA in December. I'm going to try to get to that. And I know a lot of people are over sneaker cons, but I haven't been to sneaker con in two years. And plus, not to mention, all these places I'm going to, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, finally get to go to these places I've been wanting to go and deal with sneakers at the same time. So, getting off here, start this custom, go to the gym, get some games, then go to work and make some money. So, get back to y'all later, finally.